of the world, Coventry being out of the top flight the longest, seven years and counting. Wolves have spent less time in the Premier League, the modern Premier League, than any of the others. Just one season, five years ago, is this the year. They've conceded early goals in each of their last two games. Four minutes against Reading, last home game, 25 seconds at Swansea last time out. So things are already going better for Mick McCarthy. Danny Fox. Angle towards Best, who's headed it on. And here's Freddie Eastwood. That's clever. Might come for Mitsud and Coventry take the lead inside six minutes. Michael Mitsud's return marks with an early goal. And guess who played a part in it? Freddie Eastwood. He's back. Another early goal conceded by Wolverhampton Wanderers. Eastwood involved there. And as the ball broke for Mitsud, he just calmly rolled it home. What's the betting that the last thing that he said to the players before they went out is don't concede early again. Makes the job twice as difficult. He banks Blake well, challenged by Dan here. Best. Mitsud. Coventry buoyant. Slip through towards Best, and it'll come for Best. Collins couldn't cut it out. And this is well for Wolves that Akimi could. Really important save by Carl Akimi. Denying Leon Best. Here they come again with Ward, Eastwood, it's come for him again, Collins has made another error, still Eastwood, really good recovery by Stephen Ward, but Neil Collins has just had a difficult couple of minutes there, and Coventry City have had two clear sights of Ikemi's goal as a result, Leon Best got clean through on Carl Ikemi, who's even less experienced than the young keepers replaced Wayne Hennessy. But he certainly came to Wolverhampton Wanderers rescue there, justifying his manager's faith in him. He backs Blake, combining well with Keogh. Jones. Kiley's on side here, terrific pass from David Jones. Michael Kiley! Maybe just took on a little bit too much in trying to round Isaac Osborne to corner Coventry got off lightly what a pass that is from Jones inside the fullback now Kindly maybe just pushed in a yard too far to control the cross easy set from here Only just onside that's the touch which is a touch heavy towards header more up than out Tab helping out it's come for Kitely well struck, well saved by Westwood. Changed the mood a little bit inside Molyneux. First concerted pressure for Wolves. Collins is there. Looked away by Dan. Flicked initially by Stephen Ward. Just changed the trajectory as it came to Neil Collins. He couldn't react. Here is Ward. Well, that's better for Wolves. As you can see. Laid away firmly by Dan. And a chance for a break here with Tab, who has Mifsud down the centre. And here's Michael Mifsud looking for his second commentary goal. And Ikimi with another important save. One end to the, of the field to the other in the blink of an eye. And Michael Mitsud was in again. Wolves undone by a very swift Coventry counter. Mitsud has lost his place in the last half dozen games, essentially because his contract's up at the end of the season and his uh, future with Coventry is very uncertain.
Foley. Kia. Henry. Cooks beautifully into the path of Foley. Really good cross. Just fluences with Shane Walls. Header away by Scott Dan. Real cohesion there. And a well controlled cross from Kevin Foley. David Jones with the corner. Foley's back on the ball. Oh, clear off the line. It was Doyle who smuggled it away. And Ebanks Blake who was denied. Now, Foley's cross was tantalising. Look at the man who stayed back on sentry duty, didn't push up with everybody else. So Ebanks Blake from close range had a header. Didn't cross the line, did it? Michael Dawes saw to that. Towards header, back in by Henry. Ebanks Blake. Now Keo. It will almost there. Kiley's there. There's no flag here. Michael Kiley will walk. He's been Wolverhampton Wanderers' brightest spot this afternoon. And on his return to the team, Michael Kiley gets an equaliser, which is greeted with a sigh of relief around Molyneux. A goal inside the final five minutes of the first half which has been a struggle at times. He came from deep. I have a feeling that Iwalumo in front of him, if he had touched it, might have been flagged. But Kitely came from behind the last defender. And he had the uh, balance and the poise and the presence of mind to finish tidily from a difficult angle. Two points from their last four away games. They came here more in hope than expectation. Well, the team started so well. Oh, Ebanks Blake was quicker than Dan. And he's got round walls here. And Ewell almost there. And Kiley's there. And Westwood's there. It's in. It's in. Ebanks Blake's brought it over the line. Where did he come from? Coventry City looked to the linesman. But Sylvan Ebanks Blake has struck for the sixth time in ten starts this season and Wolverhampton Wanderers have come from behind Ebanks Blake it was who made the initial incursion now he goes off the field here remember he's the goal scorer coming back on there well that will be debated after the match wanders off the field his momentum takes him there and then as Westwood pushes it up into the air and then has another port of the ball, who tiptoes back from behind the goalkeeper to force it in, but Sylvain Ebanks Blake. But the point is, where is Ebanks Blake if he stayed on? When the shot comes in, he's way beyond the last defender. He would surely have been active when he comes into play here. Surely that's the same phase of play. Now, it can't be onside can he just because he's off the field and if he is should he be allowed to come back on questions questions body's found keo body's distribution has been excellent from fullback full throat here comes foley again three to cross two one of them Z-backs play. He will all know that he is offside. He is offside. That will not count. Well, if you'll forgive me for saying it, he surely can score from three yards. It's been very clear from his Wolves goal-scoring figures this season. Now, as the shot comes in, do you know he's onside? He's onside. It's a poor decision. The prostrate Coventry defender on the far side was playing him on. That should have stood. his head up sees the ball by Berzen up best created some space Morrison on site Osborne with a chance to cross taps at the near post really good stop by Akimi. couldn't quite gather it in tab hit by Morrison Akimi's there again nothing's getting past him 
No doubt that Morrison was on side. Osborne's cross caused the panic tap, got a touch. Morrison calling for it again. Hakimi in the way again. First line just eased under the ball by Kitely, free kick. Quickly taken by Doyle, not from the correct position. He's actually taken it from about 15 paces behind where the referee wants him to take it. Then towards Best, he's won it in the air and Ward's there and Hakimi did just about enough to put Elliot Ward off. One by Best, looked like he had to score. Lots to talk about, even without a controversial deciding goal. It was a match full of talking points, plenty to admire and enjoy. But the winning goal needed a refereeing diploma to sort out. We had a former cup final and Champions League referee on duty at Molyneux, Steve Bennett, and he said, go. Wolverhampton Wanderers 2, Coventry City 1. An important win, you feel, for Wolves here against Coventry, which may take them back.